Hello and welcome to PlayStation Rater. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we installed the 1.46 release of Gran Turismo, which gives us three new World Circuit races. Before we go into there, I'm just going to double check that I have got the race difficulty set to hard, which I have. That's the setting that we're using for all of these races now. We'll then head across to the World Circuits. As I said, we've got three races to do. The first one is going to be at Grand Valley Highway in America. So we'll head over there right now. And the race that we need to do, the new one is the Vision Gran Turismo Trophy. Now this is really set up for the brand new Skoda VGT, the new car in the game. I haven't bought that. And the car that I prefer to do these races on, these VGT races, is the McLaren VGT. It's a very good all-rounded car and I like it very much. So the racing medium tyres are my option for this. The suspension is completely stock, as is the differential. And the only changes that I've made in the car, I've got my downforce at 1200 and 1800, but the main changes are the output adjustment at 76, the ballast of 176, and the power restrictor of 76. Otherwise, this car is pretty much standard. Those are the only changes that I've made, literally, just to bring the PP underneath that 750 at this stage in the game. So with my car chosen, let's enter the race and see how we can do. So this is the Vision Gran Turismo Trophy, Grand Valley Highway 1, number of laps 5 to hit the front. Let's go. Okay, so I've got the traction control set to 1. The brake balance is set to zero and I'm just going to set the radar on so I can just see where the other cars are. Now there's no pitch strategy in this, there's no fuel worries or tyres or anything else like that. It is a straightforward sprint and we've got to try and do our best to get to the front as soon as we can. I will take you through my lap time, um, or how I do the lap, but for the moment I'm just trying to get through some of these slower cars. Don't go too deep into there. And of course, you can always pause and rewind the video if you want to see exactly where I am braking, where I'm accelerating, what gears I'm using, etc. At the moment, I'm just using all sorts of gears just to try and get through these cars, which are not falling for me particularly well through there. But we're up into 13th at the moment. Whoa, gone a bit deep into there. Eager to get up with this one. Oh, we got the BMW VGT in front of us, one of my most favourite cars in the game. I'd love to be doing this race in that car, but this McLaren is just superb for these VGT races. Uh, I've used it for a lot of them, it's been brilliant value for money. And we're up to 10th place as we go across the bridge. And just a little way to the car in front now. So that might give me a little bit of time just to talk around the track. Although we've got a real gaggle of cars up ahead of us. So we're going to take ninth and then we're going to get into a load more cars. I'm looking for the 400 meter board. Going to hit the brakes as soon as we hit that all the way down into second gear. Up into third as we go midway through the corner. Just to um, stop the wheel spin and just use the torque of the car. We could be really brave through here, although we've got to be a little bit careful with these cars. So just braking and changing down the gear just to get through those cars there. Went a bit deep, so just first to stop the car on the corner there. That was all about just trying to get around those cars safely. I'm not too worried about the um, clean race bonus. Very often the AI will come around and clobber you or something will happen. This is all about just trying to get to the front and claim that first place. So we're up into fourth at the moment, midway through lap number two. Again, just having to use first gear to slow down before the, the uh, VW there. I just caught the back of the v, uh, VW through there. So that's probably the clean race bonus gone already. We've got the uh, Nissan 220 in front. Going to break on the 300 for this one. Looking to hug the inside there. We've got an opportunity up the inside. We've gone a little bit deep while we're doing that overtake. Just leave it in second through here as we 
rotate to go down over the bridge. You've got uh, the first place car is now eight seconds, over eight seconds away. So we've got a lot of time to make up. Full commitment through there. We are closing on him, but we've got to close on him really, really quickly. So 400, hard on the brakes, down in second gear, straight up into third. Just follow the white line around, use the outside of the corner. Full commitment through here. We're going to hug this corner on the left. Be careful not to get it onto the gravel because the car will go round. And then 400, hard on the brakes again. A little bit late there, it was not quite hard enough on the brakes. Uh, we're on the gravel. That's the problem when you hit the gravel. Don't get into that gravel. Stay away from it because it will suck you in and you will have trouble. Not my, uh, not the best part of the lap for me, this, this little area. I'm not overly good through here, not very quick. So hopefully you'll be quicker than me and be able to catch up with the car in front a lot quicker than I am. Although we got it down to five seconds now, which is pretty good. Just going second gear through here, gone a little bit deep again. Second through this one. On the bridge, we'll get that straight up into third gear. Looking for the 300 metre board on this one. Down into second gear, hug the inside of the kerb. Oh, just gone into first as we're going a little bit deep. 300, probably a little bit late on that one. You can see the first place car now getting a little bit anxious to try and catch him. But we are only on lap number three, so we've got plenty of time. There's no point in taking unnecessarily risks at this stage in the race. We're now three seconds behind the first place car. I wonder if that is the, uh, the Skoda VGT that we're chasing, you know. We're going to find out in a minute because we're down to two seconds. Full commitment through here, staying off the gravel at the side, remember. 400, hard on the brakes, down into second gear. Just get that rotated. It is, it is the new Skoda. That new Skoda is quick in a straight line, but this McLaren is well balanced through the corners and the straights. So we should be good. Oh, just gone a little bit deep. I got into a bit of slipstream there. That's caught me out. Gonna need to work to get back on the back of the Skoda. Need to brake earlier when you're in a slipstream. Oh. Come on, Mitchell, calm down a little bit. Trying a bit too hard whilst we are narrating. I often struggle to race and narrate at the same time. Make mistakes. Okay, 300, hard on the brakes. Second, catch up the inside kerb on the accelerator. Just leave it in second through here. Okay, we'll get an opportunity to overtake this car, so we'll just follow him. Whoa, look at that car go away. That car is quick off the corner down the hill. Full commitment through here. We'll pick up a slipstream off that car. Very, very quick in a straight line. We've got two laps to overtake him. No, one lap to overtake him. So 400 hard on the brakes down into second, up into third, so we can get some decent traction off this corner. What we've got to do now is try and get a little bit of distance between us and the Skoda. We know he's very, very, very quick during that uh, fast section of the track. Oh, I'll go onto the dirty marbles a little bit there. 200, just second gear. Probably do third through here. Just so, just take it up to third. Just leaving it in third for these corners. Second for this tight one. Just going to go second through here at the 100 meter board. Just go third through here even. Lost count of which gear I'm on, just leaving in third across the bridge. Where are we? 2.2 seconds. 
looking for that 300 meter board, hard on the brakes. Leave it in second. Going to leave it in second through here. Don't want to overcook it. And then we go down the hill. This is where that VGT behind is quick. Full commitment. And full commitment through here. Just look for the lights on the inside. Don't get on that curb too much. And then it is a straight run to the line. And a nice easy win in the McLaren VGT up against the brand new Skoda VGT for this Grand Turismo trophy race. On the hard settings, that is how I managed to get first place. So 1.1, sorry, 1.5 seconds ahead of the Skoda behind. You've got the Porsche VGT in third and the Nissan in fourth, a real old mix of cars. Um, but that was how I managed to do that race. We didn't get a clean race bonus. We did get 80,000 credits. And that was how I went about that race. A lot of that is just getting the PP down to the required amount in this car and then using the power of the car and the battery just to get through the traffic as quickly as you can and having belief in the downforce through these really fast sweeping corners. Just have the confidence in the downforce that the car is going to stick on the road and that you'll be able to get through. Be very careful through the back markers. Use the gears to slow the car down and rotate and then up into a higher gear as you exit the corner for the drive and you're going to find that you are going to do this one very, very, very easily. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you on the second of the three brand new races in the Grand Turismo 7 1.46 release that came out today. For now, take care and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.